creative friends, it's Gwen and I'm back today with an unboxing video. I am so excited. Parasol by Maggie Holmes has now arrived in the studio and I can't wait to share it with you. So this is the 48 pattern papers uh, in the paper stack. I did not get any individual sheets, which I may decide to get in the future. This will work for now. It's just a lot more economical than buying the double-sided papers. So I did grab this one. And you'll see this sort of gives you a really good feel for the collection and the colors. Really, really pretty. Lots of florals, really pretty hearts. Very Maggie, very Maggie indeed. Uh, and we'll just flick through. So I haven't seen any of this. I did pull it out of the box, but I haven't actually flipped through anything. It looks pretty um, like the cut apart sheets seem pretty standard, a bunch of tags. Really love those swans and I love the colors. So this is the first floral. It's like a background. That would be a great background pattern paper. Uh, oh, and bows. I knew there was bows in this collection. These are really, really sweet. I'm all about them bows. Yeah, I love them. They're lovely. Uh, oh, a mustard color. This reminds me, there was a mustard in one of her other collections from the past. This does seem a little bit... I know some people are going to say it's a bit same same and I can so, I can kind of see where they're going with that but I actually like same same because I love this style of collection by Maggie Holmes so I would I would get this all day every day if I could. How pretty is that? Some cameras. Yeah, they seem similar to some this one in particular to something else that I've seen. I do like the colors in this one though. A plain stripe. A diagonal stripe is always really nice for your frame to mount your layout with. Ah, oh, black and white floral. I like that. That's really sweet. They're a bit whimsy, those ones. Uh, a, what would you call that? A, like a geometric, I guess. I'm not sure about that. I'll need to see that teamed with something Oh, this is pretty. They're like woodland creatures, but there's a swan and there's a bunny. Yeah, that's really sweet. I love that. That's very whimsical as well, I feel. It's really pretty. Oh, this one's nice. It's like a background just that you could mount or you could cut out this part, use this for journaling. Uh, signature floral. That's really, really pretty. Look at that. That blue's a really nice shade of blue. I like that. I like the inclusion of that. Really pretty and lots of lovely, like luscious leaves. Here's the heart. That's a pretty sort of stock standard print, but I love that because it's pretty versatile. It mix and matches with lots of things. Same with this one here, this stripe. That's quite lovely. I'm liking this mustard. Oh, speaking of mustard, look at this. Yeah, that's really nice. I really like that. I really like that. That's really, really cute. And then there's this pink floral, kind of like a tile pattern. I really like that too. And I think it is, yes, my OCD is happy because this is the same as this which seems to be the same as this and this. Loving that. Oh, this is sweet. It's like a little meadow. Yeah, I like that too. That's really pretty. I don't know that you could fussy cut that. Maybe someone clever could, but I don't know that I could. But I do like that. It's like a yeah, meadow. Love that. Another kind of fussy cut ephemera style pattern paper. I like the mix of like the more photographic elements. There's a couple of photographic elements with the, then the line drawings. They're really pretty. And this reminds me of something else that you're going to see in a minute. It's actually, they're a bit connected, which is interesting. I did not know that when I bought that other thing. I'll get to that. Oh, this is nice. It's like a marble kind of painterly. <laughs> Maybe I could use that as a mixed media background. You know, I love making those. Not. 
Oh, they're nice. Lemons, I know they'll be popular. You'll see a lot of layouts with this pattern paper, I think. They're really lovely. Yeah, I like those. Uh, then there's this blue. Oh, I'm liking that too. I really like that blue. Oh, and a bunch of stamps that are fussy cuttable or you can layer them up. I like how many butterflies you get. It's like a repeating pattern. So many prints. This is more peach, much more peach than anything we've seen yet. So I think there are going to be some pattern papers that just won't work very well together. Like I can imagine peach and mustard. Someone clever will prove me wrong, but I'm not sure about peach and mustard, especially maybe that one. Imagine that and that. I don't know. I don't know. Someone clever will probably make that work, but I'll have to have a think about that, won't I? Let me know. What do you think? Is that a yay or an A? I'm not sure. Jury's out on that. Uh, this is pretty. I like that. It's a very like simple little floral in that pretty shade of blue. And then I think we're back to, yes, back to the start. So I, I have a feeling too, I'm not sure whether this pattern paper pad has all of the pattern papers in the collection or just a selection. Because generally her lines do have a lot of choice in terms of pattern paper. So anyway, that's that's what I have. On to the chipboard, I think. Now, you'll know that I'm nervous whenever I order chipboard due to previous chipboard purchases. But this one looks good. I think they fixed it. I think there was a season where there was a problem. But the manufacturing process is now much better and it's it's been made better and it's fixed. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, there, so we don't have to deal with so much glare. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I'm, this is one of the pieces I had to get. I don't know whether I mentioned, I got them all from Spotlight, but I had to get a couple of pieces from Craft Online because Spotlight didn't have the chipboard. So... This was the chipboard that I got separately, which is such a pain in Australia that we have to pay, like you, it's very hard to get the whole collection all from one shop. Really, really hard. Um, the only way to do that is to often go to like the specific boutique scrapbook shops, but then sometimes their prices are a lot different to the big box stores, which is a shame because I know I'd really like to support the smaller stores uh, so I try and balance it out, but when I'm buying the full collection, it's kind of, it's a bit hard. So I did go with the cheaper option and then paid for two lots of shipping. How pretty is that? I'm all about them bows. How lovely. You're going to come out for me? Oh, yes. Look at that. So lovely. Uh, I love the swan, of course. I love the little cameras, the florals. There's those lemons again. Can you see those? Cute little bees. It's a really, if anything, I want to say it's kind of got a spring vibe, but it's just to me seems like a bunch of lovely things. So I know I'm going to really enjoy creating with it. Really nice. The chipboard seems the same as normal, similar quality, similar feel to, ooh, to normal. I don't think they've changed anything there. Um, although this seems a little more robust so normally you might have seen in my previous videos i like to remove this part and then store them as uh just embellishments like this because then i can add glue firstly i can audition them in a hundred places as i like to do and then i can just add here some liquid glue so that's those i have to go and do that later love 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 I did get the washi as well. Uh, I am running low on washi, which is funny because I had so much for so long and then I used up so much over time. And now I can buy more washi, which is quite fun. Uh, often I found these are quite expensive too, but the Spotlight deal was so good. I couldn't help but get them. So that's those. Aren't they nice? There's a bow one, floral stripe. I do like this pink one too. It's really pretty. Let me show you it. Isn't that nice? Really love that. Soft and delicate and sweet. 
So that's the washi tapes. I have some bowls, so let's pull out some of the embellishments. There are a bunch of embellishments as always. There's this pack here, which is called stationery. Does it say how many is in here? I don't think it does. So there's two sections, obviously a larger, larger embellishments and then smaller ones. Let's see if there's anything that's giant. I don't think there is. It seems a little more to scale. So maybe, maybe, just maybe they're learning. Uh, these are cute. It's got a bow on it. Can you see that? Oh, there we go. Can you see that? How sweet is that? I'm going to hoard that. That's the problem with something like that. How sweet. I love that. I don't know why that's printed on that side, though. I have to make it a flip. I'd have to make it flip this way because you want to see, you want access to that. And that has to go that way. But then the bow's on that side. So you'd put tape there to glue it down. So then the bow's not gold. I don't understand. I'm missing something. Because you can't, if I glued it down that way, you can't have access to undo this part. So unless it's for junk journals or something, or just a little envelope to give someone, maybe it's not made for scrapbooking. Hmm, I'll have to figure that out, won't I? Uh, these are some little pockets. Remember today, that's cute. Oh, that's pretty. There's another one. So, oh, they, yeah, well, that's sort of similar. Although at least this one, you could put this this way. And you could glue that or you could chop that off and then use that as a pocket on your layout. Do, at least it doesn't have the buckle on the back. I don't know. That's really sweet. I can imagine that even as a card. Pop some sequins in there, seal it up, add some stitching and then have that as the front of your card. That would come together pretty quickly. Done that one. Oh, this is cute. This is just another little envelope. So it's a bunch of little envelopes. Then there's some tags, which we've come to expect. They're really pretty. So coordinating with the pattern papers that we have seen. This is like a little insert. I wonder if this fits into this part here. Let's hope it does. Yes, it does. Awesome. Yeah, that's cute. That's super cute. I like that. I like these done for you kind of elements. They're nice to kind of kick things off if you're not sure where to start. These are photo inserts, so you pop your photo in there and you've got your frame, kind of like Polaroid style. I like them. It's a pretty yellow. I like yellow. Yellow is a really pretty colour to scrapbook with. Then there's this one with a bow, and that's annoying me. Is that annoying anybody else? Does that is that straight? I don't know that that's straight. <laughs> I might have to fussy cut around the edge. That's funny. <laughs> Another little envelope. So same thing. Obviously, they're not meant for scrapbookers because if you glued that down, you would be gluing down access to the flap. So then you'd have to put your adhesive on the back, but that's where the print is. I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening with that, Maggie. Uh, home is where the heart is. That's really sweet. I like that. That's pretty. Very shiny like that. Some really cute frames. These are lovely. Aren't they lovely? I really like them. They're really pretty. And some a little vellum piece and some other little bits and pieces. This is another frame. That's sweet. Very sweet. So that's the stationery pack. I do keep them all together. I don't like to mix my packs up, so I will keep that aside there. Next is the ephemera pieces. So these are a lot smaller and very much less like envelopes and things. These are the, what you would consider like die cuts for scrapbooking. And there's a little packet here. What's in here? Some more little just like layering pieces. What kind of icons? Grateful. Love that. So much to be grateful for bicycle that's sweet flower very cute little house what is that i want to say a strawberry but it's not a strawberry is it a raspberry i don't know scissors 
Ah, uh, a blue bow. You have not let me down, Maggie. I always love to see the bows in the Maggie collections. There's some of those, uh, one of those birds that we saw. I really like them. I like the shape of that. It's really nice. Little deer. Oh, sweet. Another little, um, this is a vellum. Floral. Free to fly. Another camera, they're always handy. More die cut butterfly. Little bee, another bow. See, and I like too, here's the thing. I like that her bows are symmetrical. I don't like the ones that are a little bit, they don't have to be perfect, but they have to be pretty balanced. And that one's very nice. <laughs> and a cute little bunny. So I'm even particular with my bows. I don't just like any any bows. They have to be, they have to be um, balanced, balanced bows. Uh, okay, these are the larger pieces in this same pack. Uh, that's pretty splendid on vellum. Could be nice for a card if you wanted to send a card to celebrate something splendid. Precious. Ooh, discover. I feel like that's very fragile. I don't know how robust that's going to be. Can you see that? I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, this is pretty. It's a vellum piece, but it's very printed. I don't know whether you can see, see through that. Uh, a blue flower piece, another blue flower piece. That's nice. I'm liking this. I'm, let's see what I can do with some blue florals. Here's another one. What's this one? Oh, yeah, interesting. Another little house, some lemons, a beautiful swan. I love swans. I have ceramic swans here in the studio with me. I like that it's a nod to Swan Lake because I do love the ballet. So I'll definitely be using those. Another little house peacock. That's cute. I heard that some people think the peacocks are bad luck or was it peacock feathers? Hmm. I think it's bad luck to be superstitious. That's really cute. Love. That's really nice. I like that it's stamped. Uh, some, another tag, another floral tag. Uh, some more layering pieces. This is a frame that's sort of similar to this one. Actually, they're very similar. Not exactly the same. Oh, maybe they are. No, not exactly the same, but very, very similar. Similar in size, which is quite good, so that you could use them on the same layout. That's very good thinking. Uh, another frame and lucky last, a vellum floral piece. Okay, so that's that one. Did I keep all that together? I hope I did. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to put all of that onto this pile here. I'm going to put this aside. Uh, I want to show you this, but I kind of want to show you it last because it's a bit different. I'll quickly show you all oh, the paper pad. I didn't do this. This is the, I did get the six by eight paper pad. Prints will be the same, except there'll be some gold foiling. And obviously, oh no, they're not the same. Um, gold foiling, I got it for, and I like the smaller scale when I'm backing cut files. Sometimes it's um, a nice touch. Look at that one. Can you see the shine on that? Oh my goodness. These are different. I did not know that. Well, I'm glad I got it now. Some of them are the same, like the bows, but these, a lot of these are different. That one's the same but with gold. Interesting, mustard with gold foil. I don't know how I feel about that. How do you feel about that? Hmm, that's pretty. It's like a cloud, a sky. And then, so some of these are the same. Oh, that's pretty. That's the heart paper, but gold foil on white. That's pretty. These are different. Oh, oh look at that. Wow. Okay, I'm really surprised. Some of them are the same. So even that home is where the heart is. That icon was on one of the pattern papers. And same with these, but then this is different. And you get two of, I feel like that's a bit different. Similar, I know there was some peachy florals. That's new. That's new. 
I don't know about the spots. That's definitely new. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, super glad I got that now. So that's the 6x8. Okay, I want to show you, I can show you this really quickly. This is the thickers. I'm not 100% sure about my choice here. Only because here, the reason is when I have, I found that when I have alphabets that are different in color, I run out of combinations more quickly. Because what happens is, say I've got two E's left and they're like these two, the pink and the green one, but then I've only got one C left or like what would have, if I was going to spell cake, so C-A-K-E. So what happens when you've got this C left and this A left? Then you either have to make the whole word cake in green and you may not have a green K or you might not, do you know what I mean? Like if at least if they're all the same color, whatever letters you have are the letters that you have. But as soon as you add in a combination of prints and colors, then it kind of limits your choices again when you're making up words. I hope that makes sense. So I had decided previously that I wouldn't buy alphas like this. I would only buy alphas that were all the same color. But, you know, they are pretty. It is a really pretty shade of green. It is a really pretty shade of pink. I think I'm just going to have to try and be really strategic. And if I use this A then maybe try and use this A or maybe save the plain ones so that I can make up four words just with the plain green. I'm not sure. We'll see. That's those. Puffy stickers we did get. Uh, and again, um, I think I say this every time I unbox puffy stickers. They weren't what I thought they were going to be. Why do I keep getting them? They're a bit small. Did I say that last time? I'm sure I said that same thing last time. I don't know. They're bigger than they were, but there's still some teeny tiny ones. I don't, and I just don't use them. I do like the bow. I do like this one. But to its scale, so when you've got like something like this, and then you've got like that swan works, but she's one of the biggest things. Like that tiny little flower. Hmm. I don't know. I it's it's probably me. It's not you, Maggie. It's me. Um, but I do struggle with the scale of these. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, next let's go with the uh just the regular cardstock stickers. I uh, had to get these. They're always useful, and they're not. They're not hard to store. These actually, thanks Spotlight, got a little bit bent in the mail because they didn't put them behind anything and they came, I think they might have come with these, but that was all. And it wasn't, see, I don't know whether you can see that, but they kind of, see, they got bent, which is a bit annoying. Look at this one. I don't know whether you, can you see that? But it's, yeah, it's hard to tell if you can see it on camera, but there's a big bend right through the center of that, which is, very annoying for me. I'm sure some people wouldn't be bothered by it, but I am very bothered by it anyway. And even that one, I don't know whether you can see that one. It's like very dented. That's all right. I'm hoping it will pass once I get it onto a layout. We'll see. Uh, I might be able to, this one, I was hoping to use that sentiment, but I might be able to layer a floral or something on it. This one's all right. She's okay, just, but you can sort of see how she's not sitting flat on the, see how she's not sitting flat? It's because it's bent. So there's that. Um, super cute though. Love this one. Love this bow. Very, very useful icons. Very, very sweet. So yeah, I do love those. So that's those. I also got these, which is the thickers. They're like a, like a puffy sticker. I don't know why I don't just get these and stick with it. Remind me, friends. Next time a new collection comes out, can someone please say, hey, Gwen, don't get these puffy stickers. Just get these puffy stickers. These are great. These are probably, if anything, on the large size. But 
I still feel like that they're more workable than those tiny puffy stickers. We'll see. We'll see what happens. These are cute. I like that's a bit much, but I quite like it. It's a bit extra, as my 15-year-old would say. She's a bit extra, but I like her. <laughs> There's that bird again. And the bow, that's pretty. I like this font too. Really lovely. You see those? And then more of this camera. And there's another one of those fancy florals. Grateful. Oh, I like that. Love without limits. Yeah, very sweet. Very happy with that. And then that leaves me with this. This I haven't seen before. This was only at Spotlight. And what are they calling this? A papery pack. And oh my goodness, 200 pieces. I wish I had my invoice handy. It was not very much for 200 pieces of little bits of pretty things. So I'll show you. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm going to use this. I wanted to... Oh, I'll get on to that in a second. I'm jumping ahead. Check this out. Oh, how lovely. They're, okay, so they are very lightweight, much more lightweight than something that we have been used to, say, in scrapbooking. But I actually have seen and wanted to create some little journal pages or like books. So I actually bought this for that with that in mind but knowing that I could also use it in my scrapbooking so the fact that it's flimsy this is what I'm getting to the fact that it was flimsy was actually appealing to me because in the book you don't want too much bulk so lightweight little prints and things are quite good is that a sticker <gasps> or is it a bit of paper I think it might be a sticker oh maybe it's paper I'll have to check that later I feel these feel stickery. What does it say? Paper pack. It does say stickers. Oh, they are. They are stickers. Yeah. So you've seen the TikToks. I don't know. I'm not on TikTok that much. It's more actually I've seen them on Instagram, the reels, where they make these really cute little albums where they just stick stickers and just have fun. And I've been watching them and, and sometimes I sometimes I feel like uh, doing a layout is like a lot of pressure and a bit of hard work, especially I guess too now that this is like my job. And I have seen the gorgeous little mini albums that these people on Instagram have been making where really all they're doing is sticking and plonking little cute little die cuts and ephemera pieces and they make this lovely sweet little spread and I was like you know what I feel like that would be something for me that would be very soothing or like something that I wouldn't have to think about very much but could be quite fun I, I thought too that it could be something good to take us with us uh, when we go in the van so it's not scrapbooking as such and I'm not having to take scissors and like all the things. But I could take my little journal and a couple of my fun little stickers and I could just stick and plonk some stickers. So that's why I got this. And I'm thinking that this might be why Maggie made this for this very moment. And I'll jump ahead. I want to show you this. This is what I got to start with. So dot journals, it's called a dot journal. Well, yeah, I don't think it has to be a dot journal. You could do it in like a, a plain piece of with like pa plain paper. But I like the idea of the dot journal because I've got something to line things up so that they're straight. And if I wanted to write, then I could. I had like a guide. So this is going to be my first one. How pretty is that? That came from Spotlight. Um, so, and what the, the idea is, I'm sure you would have seen it. They just like turn to a page. They grab their little stickers and they just like stick and plonk things. And they make, um, sometimes I've seen the ones I really like have quotes and I thought it might be nice to do maybe some Bible quotes or just even 
you know, regular kind of inspirational quotes. So they might start with something like that. And then they might get like a, um, I don't know, like another piece. And then I've seen them like tear, tear it off. And then I'm not going to tear it because I don't want to commit live with you here now. Huh? Um, <laughs> but I'm going to have a play with this. Like, and then that would go there. And then they, and then they would put on their little, like they might put on this little frame sticker, maybe, I don't know, here. And then they would put like another flower here. And then they would maybe just put like a little um, quote. And that would be the page done. And they're very, I don't know, they're very soothing to watch. So I figured if I love paper things as much as I do, and I really like watching those little videos, maybe I should give this a go. So that's what I'm going to do with this. It might end up in my scrapbooking like a couple of pieces maybe but that's definitely not what i bought it for and i thought if i'm going to jump into this sort of newer craft i don't know whether it's newer but new to me why not do it with some things that are very familiar that i know that i love creating with hence maggie how pretty is that so i don't even know whether i will share that with you i i may even just do it for fun and just not have just yeah just not share it i don't know we'll see let me know is that something you want to see or not so much i don't know how pretty is this so this is like a stationary pack this is like paper and stickers but there are so many pieces in here 200 i think i said didn't i yeah and i remember it wasn't that that much See, that I could imagine on a scrapbook layout. That would be really nice on the back of a scrapbook layout. I do journal on the backs of my layouts. So I do like the idea of that actually being pretty because most of the time it's not pretty. So I do like that. I like these little tabs. So that I could see in scrapbooking just as part of your la paper layers. So you wouldn't see any of this part. You just see, you'd see that as a paper layer. So there's going to be some crossover, I think. But how pretty are they? And there's so many. I cannot believe how many you get. And there's two of every design. But there's even like little book pages. There's these frames. I love this. I might do a couple and see if I'm any good at it. <laughs> if you never see me make one, maybe I didn't enjoy it or I'm not good at it. <laughs> or maybe I just decided to have it be something that I do just for me. I like the butterflies. They're pretty. Look, so many. I don't know. I was like, that. If they, I hope she does this all the time. I am loving this. I think this is such a good deal. So get onto it, people. It was at, that one was at Spotlight. I did see it at Spotlight. I don't think, I don't think I saw it at Craft Online. To be honest, I think it was only at Spotlight. So you might need to stalk your local store. Look at all these. Is that, are these stickers? No, these are paper. So the stickers have like a bit of a different feel to them, obviously, because they're stickers. But the the um, front of them is more shiny, but not super shiny, if that makes sense. It's the stickers. So many. So, so, so many little tickets so much to show you so i have just recorded episode 30 of maggie Holmes monday i do have one more layout so that will be episode 31 i think that might be the end of maggie Holmes monday just for this year because uh, i do have some other things planned i do want to get into this stuff as well uh, so also let me know if you enjoy Maggie Holmes Monday and if you'd like to see that continue for next year. I can't believe I'm already even talking about Christmas and next year. But that's kind of how things go. Hey, I hope you like Parasol. I love it. I know I'm going to get a lot of pages done whether we're doing Maggie Holmes Monday or not. It's beautiful collection. Thank you for spending your creative time with me. If you like unboxing videos, I will link one for you here. And I'll see you all next time. Until then.